Hi everyone, Coach Rachel here, and we are back with another Any Age workout. And I am particularly excited about this workout today because it is meant for anyone who wants to work on improving their posture. And that can mean different things to different people, but in general, the majority of us are locked in this position most of the day, right? We're rounded, our chests are tight, our back muscles are stretched and weak because we are at some kind of device or screen. And so I want to make sure that you have really good posture because that can help you improve performance in and outside of the gym, help you feel better, help you look better, have more confidence, right? Get in that power stance. <laughs> so everything we do today is going to revolve around helping you improve your posture. You won't need any equipment. You will need some space. There are a couple moves on the ground today. You don't need shoes. You can kick those off. Fill up your water bottle. Put on a chill playlist because we are going to go through two rounds and it's going to be a minute of each exercise. So I just have my timer set and it's going to beep at us when we switch to the next move. And then we will do that for a minute and we'll loop back through one more time. Okay? So now remember to if you plan to return to this workout, this is one that if you do consistently across time, just like any of our other workouts, that would help you improve endurance, strength, um, fat loss, muscle gain, this is one that will help you, if you do it consistently, improve posture over time. So, while it's gonna feel good today, really, if you want long-term results, you're gonna have to keep doing it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, you're gonna have to keep working, all right? So, let's learn some new things today. My clock is gonna give us a 10 second countdown. We are going to start with some head rolls. So, it's a dark, cloudy day in here today too, so let's hope you can see me, all right? All right, <sighs> take a deep breath, doing some head rolls. Chin towards your chest, roll. Ear towards your shoulder, come back, and around, and the other way. Remember, we have a minute, and so there's no rush. For me in particular, if I kind of just do like right to left, that usually feels really good. I can tell that area is tight. And if you can, do your best to have some intentional Breathing through here, I'm even finding myself <laughs> taking a quieter, <laughs> quieter tone and volume today as we move through these exercises. In a couple seconds, we're going to switch to a chest opener. Okay, let's come down to the ground. We're going to make a W with our arms. All right. And you're going to slide all the way up overhead and reach your thumbs together and then back down into that W. And really focus on, I just caught myself doing it, um, keeping your, so, so if you saw, I don't know if you saw originally, I kind of was, I was a little rounded. See, my shoulder blade, my delt wasn't even touching the ground, so I pulled my shoulders down and back, then went and got in that good position. This is one, too, if you're not able to get down to the ground, you can certainly do on the wall or even um, you can do just hold a stretch, a big stretch in a door frame. All right, we are moving on to cat cow. So if you've done this in yoga before, this is one of my favorites. You're going to get in that quad position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We are going to round up, tuck your head. From here too, if you can, you can shift your weight a little bit forward and back. I think that always feels good. And then through neutral, back into cow. Really making sure we're pulling and pushing those shoulders. See, I was up here. Pulling and pushing those shoulders down and back and then back up through, even a little weight shift 
right to left sometimes feels good. And then back through. A couple seconds and we are going to move on to a four point hip stretch. Okay, so from here, we are going to step out into a low lunge and shift your weight forward. I think we've done this as part of one of our warm ups before too. Now out to the, take a step out to the right, take a step out to the right, and take a step out to the right. Coming back, back, and back. Just in time, we're halfway, so let's switch sides. Remember, we're sitting up tall, we're pushing this hip forward, right? So you saw if I was just here, as opposed to hip push forward, and now we go. Shift, a little bit out to the side. One more, and then back the other way. Shoot, I should have worn some of my fun socks so you could have seen where my feet were a little bit easier. All right, next we are going into an air row. So we're gonna stand up here, make a fist, and I want you to, uh, step one, so see I'm reached out here, I want you to pull your shoulders down and back and then row, and then all the way back out, that extra reach, and then pull back. Extra reach and pull back. This is another one too that I love, so I just thought about we go seated, you can reach out here a little rounded and then pull back too. So reaching out, pulling back, seated or standing. We're getting a little bit more out of this one because we get a little bit of a hamstring stretch too. As long as you're going from that reach, shoulder comes back into that row, okay? Then, speaking of row, we're going back into that quad position, and this is a combo move. So two in one, I think I'll go this way so you can see better. But what I'm gonna have you do is make a fist with your left hand. You're going to row wide, pull back, and then come out, okay? And I'll let you know when we're halfway to switch. And really think squeezing, pinning your shoulder blade into your spine, but without, um, without doing this, okay? So really it's a pulling back and down, switching sides, so pull, and then out to the side. Staying out of that upper back, neck area, and out to the side. Good, we've got 10 seconds. One more. All right, let's come up to a stand. And we are going into a tip over motion. Arms are gonna reach out, thumbs up, and come down. Thumbs up, and come down. Let's be mindful here of, and I caught myself doing it too, is that my head was down like this and I needed to bring my chin back and keep it in a line with the rest of my body because that forward head position is super common with that stance that I showed in the beginning, that bad posture. Um, if you're out of screen all day, a lot of us have that forward head position. And it's gonna be super helpful if we can get back into alignment. We've got a couple seconds. All right, we are going back to our head roll. We're coming around, getting organized. Roll. I think too, you might find this round that you may already be moving a little bit better than you were before. And this is only the second time through, so imagine if you did this once or twice a week. You'd be really moving. I'll stay with these low rolls just because it feels good. <laughs> Sorry, my 
There's my fish. Oh, and my puppy came to visit. Alright. <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> I'm coming down to the ground. It's, we'll see what she does. <laughs> see what she does. Okay. Let's go. We gotta do our W. Good girl. Okay. All right. Remember this one? This is that W, and you're going to slide up overhead. Bring your thumbs together. <laughs> Back into that W. All right. <laughs> this is a flashback. Do you guys remember that day when I was trying to teach you Turkish gaps? <laughs> and she just would not leave me alone. There we go. W, reach up, thumbs come together. Remember shoulders down and back. Two, one, all right. We are gonna flip over into that cat cow. Okay, everything's stacked. Breathe in, drop your head. <laughs> Do a little weight <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> All right. Come under. Come back. Here, remember, too, you can always shift a little right to left. This feels so good. I guess my hips were tighter than I breathe in two one all right you have that four point stretch <laughs> all right <laughs> okay so we're looking at from the front we're gonna shift weight forward little step shift Little step, one more, back this way. It's not a huge motion. Good, switch in sides. Remember too, that hip has to push, push forward. Okay, out. Oh boy. Oof, good. All right, we're going into that air row. So option one, remember, is you're gonna come here, shoulders down and back and pull, or option two, you can go seated. And we're gonna reach. And then remember the shoulder, see how this shoulder is out? I'm going to pull and retract it back as I row. Okay, so that's the important part of this. I don't need to stay rounded and then row. Okay, so reach. Bring it back. Open up your chest. Shoulder blades together and down. Don't get up here. And out. This is great too when you're club reopens, you can grab the rope attachment and pull, it not, don't go heavy, and open up your chest this way and strengthen your upper back, okay? Then we are going into that row, that's the row, and then out to the side. So remember, it looks like this. We're going to go here, row back, and row out. I'll let you know when to switch sides. Okay, switch in. Well, sorry, <laughs> I bumped her tail. <laughs> sorry, bumper. All right. Oh, 
okay, this is important too, I understand. All right, you have five seconds left of that row. Two, one, all right. Okay, we are popping up for that bent over Y. Okay, so we're gonna reach out, thumbs up, come down. Remember, this is that one where we're watching head placement. It's not drop down here. Chin is back and we're reaching. Shoot, you know what? I'm sorry I missed one because we're going to end a minute early and I'm not sure why. <laughs> I think the, do sorry, the dog distracted me and um, I missed one. Good, we have 20 seconds. Last couple. I think I gotta watch my head again. <laughs> Two, one. All right. I'm so sorry. I know I forgot one because we are ending a minute too soon. Um, but hopefully you remembered it at home. <laughs> And or maybe you had a dog distract you too. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. It's just getting a little weird today. Thank you so much for working through your posture day with me today. And myself and my dog will see you soon. <laughs>